I think we found one of the best new homes in the area. Even better, there's actually two of them. So for 1.75 million, you can get four large bedrooms, a huge open plan living kitchen area, a 170 foot garden, and a home automation system. Now comparing this to our London, central London tours, you could barely get a small apartment for this price tag. So let us know in the comments, would you prefer a big detached house like this or a small London apartment? We're in Ellswood, Sully Hall, which is 30 minutes from the center of Birmingham and a two hour 20 drive from London. Let's get the tour started. These homes were built by HCD Developments and two years ago, Matt and I actually toured one of their previous projects and that video has nearly hit a million views. I'll link that in the description below. So this house behind me has four bedrooms, four bathrooms and is 3,500 square foot set over two floors. This one is slightly bigger than that one, but we're gonna be walking through both of them today. They have a slightly different layout. I think I prefer the ground floor on this one and the top floor for that one, but stick around and let us know in the comments after the video which you prefer. Now out the front we have an electric gate, off-road parking for three to four cars, a resin-bound driveway, and they've also added low-level lighting around the property. It looks beautiful from the outside. I'm so excited to show you guys around. So let's go on in. It is a little rainy today, but thankfully by the door we have some shelter. Come on in. Welcome into the entrance. So first impressions is it's really wide. It's around three meters. You also have the double height. Now, one of my favorite things is all the black accents around this house. So they've gone for a black banister over here. Now I'm gonna take you through to the front living room first through these black double doors with the glass. Now the interior design in both of these houses are stunning and you can actually purchase all the furniture on separate negotiation so you could literally move into this house exactly how you see it. We've got the log burner in the middle, the panelling on the wall, it's actually one of my favourite features the panelling, it just adds that little bit of extra-ness to it. There's also speakers in the ceiling and when we first came into the house with John this morning there was some really nice music playing, I could definitely imagine if I lived here. I would have like some nice jazz music on. <laughs> now let's go through to this room, which is currently set out as like a little TV space, a snug, it could be like a cinema room, it could be a study, maybe a kid's playroom. We have this beautiful panelled feature behind the TV and the soft light. And obviously we've got the luxury home show up, so make sure to click that big button there that says subscribe, and then we can bring you some awesome house tours. Do you remember this one, Matt, the watershed? I do. That was awesome. Okay, let's head back out to the kitchen, which is my favorite room. My feet are getting very toasty because there's underfloor heating all throughout. Oh, I'll quickly show you the downstairs WC. Gray tiles through here from Porcelain Alosa. What does everyone think to these black doors? I personally really like them. And now we're coming to my favorite room. I'll do a little reveal. Welcome in. These are the same doors that take you to the living space with the glass. Come through this way, Matt. Wow, check out this kitchen. So it's a Tom Howley kitchen with Miami Vena Salstone worktops. There's a short sink in the middle, double sink. It's got two sections with a cooker boiling hot tap. Now over here we have the Range Master and it's two-toned kitchens. We have the dark cabinets on this side and the lighter gray cabinets over here. Oh, look what I just found over here. This brings me nicely on to thank today's sponsor, which is AG1. Now, AG1 has been part of Matt and I's morning routine for over a year now, and doing these house tours, we are driving to Scotland, down to France. We roughly do two and a half thousand miles a month and drinking AG1 every morning makes it so easy for us to get so many nutrients within our daily diet. We're regularly stopping off at loads of service stations and there's so much junk food there which we try and say no to because health is really important to us but when we start the morning off drinking our AG1 it makes us feel good. We're starting the day off healthy and we get to these house tours feeling focused, ready to smash out an amazing video. AG1 is a daily foundational nutrition supplement that supports our mental and physical health. It has 75 vitamins and minerals, pre and probiotics which supports our gut health and also supports our immune health health, focus and energy, and stress. Matt and I drink ours in the morning. It's super easy to make. You just do one scoop with 250 ml of water, put the lid on, 
and shake it up. Now I know a lot of people are quite hesitant to drink things that are the color green, but honestly you will be pleasantly surprised with the taste. It has hints of like papaya and pineapple, but it's not too sweet. Now if I've convinced you to try AG1, head to the link in our description, and AG1 are gonna give you guys one year free supply of their AG vitamin D3 and K2 and five travel sachets. So click the link in the description and get started with your order. Back to the tour. We have this beautiful lantern light above, bringing so much natural light into this room. Now we're gonna check out the kitchen in more detail. I'm gonna open some cupboards to show you what we've got. This is the integrated fridge and freezer. We have the bifold doors just here, maybe a few swivel rounds so everyone can see. A little look at how big that garden is. I think it's 170 feet long. Now let's come back through this side. We have a dishwasher integrated in the island, as you can see the two different colors. Loads of storage either side. We have a bin cupboard here, so the bins are nice and hidden. And the backsplash is a dark tinted mirror, which I love. This is all Neff, the induction hob and the extractor. Then over here we have a little wine fridge. It's a little skinny one, it's quite cute. And this cupboard opens quite groovy. Look, it, it has like a, reminds me of my double jointed elbows. Groovy baby. <laughs> It goes like that and you could fill that out with some nice, um, maybe like, what could you put in there actually? You could have it as a custom tea, coffee colored, yeah. anything you want. Now this would be a pantry. I would get inspo from Pinterest. I'm gonna go in to show you how big it is. Have some shelves and then, you know when people have like really nice pantries with all the labels, <laughs> that's what I desire. <laughs> Over here is the dining table. So it's a dining, living, and kitchen space, this entire room. Look at this light fitting. Come to this side of the room. This is the living area. There's also another log burner in here, so there's actually two log burners in the house. What's your favorite part of this room, Matt? I love the open concept. Yeah. I think Marie has absolutely nailed it with the interior design. Um, it'd be great to just move straight in. I think the colors, the blues, and the grays work really nicely together. Oh, I think the wine fridge is beeping. Oh, I didn't fully close it, oops. Okay, I wanna show you the Control 4 Home Automation System. This is something we've got used to in all the luxury houses, but I wanna share it if you've not seen it before because it's super cool. You can actually control all the lighting from this, so if you leave, you can just turn all off. You've got the security. Now this house is actually set on like a private road off a street, so it's actually really hard to find. So if privacy is a big thing for you, this is a great house, because literally, we actually drove past it and we had the address, so that's saying something. <laughs> um, intercom, cameras, all from that, which is cool. And then I'll show you the utility room, which is just off here. Now remember guys, we've got the other house to show you, which has a slightly different layout. Um, this is a great utility room off open plan space. And you've also got a door through the utility room and there's side access to the house too. Yes, to and the, garden. the garage is just off the utility room. We've got to show the garage. Okay, we're going to go back. Yeah. <sighs> just because I know, well for me, when I'm watching, oh, no, I like that to was the, the other house. Oh yeah, of course. <gasps> That was the other house. So this house does have a garage, but not the internal access. So right. during this episode, we're deciding which one of these is our favorite. You can consider that. Yeah, so this one is 1.75 million and the other one is 1.7. So a few differences and this one is slightly bigger, hence the price change. Now we've done that entire ground floor. Should we head upstairs? Let's go. Wow, I love this staircase. Like I mentioned at the start, I love the black banister. I've not actually seen this recently, but I'm a big fan. And then the carpet runner up the staircase. Can you see me up here? I can still see you, and I can get a glimpse of that amazing chandelier that matches the staircase. And there's a window straight ahead of me, so it brings even more light into this double-heighted entrance. We have four bedrooms and four bathrooms with this house, and there's four bedrooms and three bathrooms in the other one. Oh, I don't know which one to show you first. That is the prin oh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> That's the principal suite. Matt just hit himself, by the yeah, way. I thought, oh, such a good shot, and then my clumsiness got in the way. Let's, should we go in this one first? Yeah, let's explore to the front aspect. So the ceiling heights in all the bedrooms are great. There's lots of storage on this back wall. 
Actually, every bedroom has a lot of storage, which I was really impressed about. And then through here is a gray tiled ensuite with a big shower. Let's keep the tour moving as we have lots of bedrooms to show you. Now I'm just walking past the family bathroom. So we'll go in here first. We have a black door, a beautiful LED mirror light. I do really enjoy turning these on and off, but I can't see the button. <laughs> Come around here, Matt, we have the bath. And check out these 3D tiles. I like the effect of these. And come this side, Matt. Can you see? We've got a TV by the bath. So you can watch our house tours while you're having a bath. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, and then there's also a shower in this room with a really cool slanted roof. And shout out to the Solihull Tile Company as well for these amazing tiles. Yeah, so all the tiles are from Porcelanosa and the Solihull Tiling Company fitted them all. Now I'm gonna show you the principal suite and you're gonna to have to tell me if you prefer this principal suite or the other one. So let's go in here. Speakers are still in the ceiling. So this would be a cool house for a party with all the music everywhere. But look at the ceiling heights in here. Absolutely incredible. The plush carpet, you can tell it's luxurious. Three skylights on this side. And this is a Juliet balcony. So these doors could open up. You've got a glass balustrade. And honestly, the garden is a huge selling point for me. I feel like a lot of new homes we go to, they, they lack the garden, but this house has the big garden. Now over on this side of the room, we have the kind of closet section, walk-in wardrobe. I'll just open up one to see what we're working with. So we've got a shelf, rails, and drawers. Then a sliding pocket door <laughs> into the ensuite and They've gone for a really awesome tile again. I love the different styles they've gone for. The towel heater rack is there and then the walk-in shower with the black features too. Coming out of the principal bedroom, back to the landing, we have another bedroom through here. And this has, again, a pocket sliding door into its own ensuite. And then they've utilized this wall here, so much storage, all, up until the point where this is also storage, even though it's super low. Do you reckon you could fit in there? <laughs> Probably not, I'm too big. You might get stuck. <laughs> Back out to the entrance, we have one more bedroom. This is the fourth bedroom with wardrobes on that side opposite the bed. And I believe this one here, you could put a TV if you wanted to. They've got that in the others too. Yeah but it's still a great room, lots of natural light. And now should we check out the garden now, Matt, or should we go check out the other house and then the gardens at the mm, end? It'd be cool if we could do a vote. I think we should go check out the other house and finish okay. outside. Meet you at the other house. Okay, coming out of the first house, it's not raining anymore, so I can give you another look at the exterior. Incredible. Should we swap over, Matt? Yeah, I will show you guys around the next one. So hi everyone, I'm Matt, for those that haven't watched the channel before. We've seen property number one, and now we're gonna check out number two, which is slightly smaller. So here we are at the side access that I mentioned. So we have the two gates here. Each house has a security camera that you can see above there. I'm gonna go through this way, and let's take a closer look. So what I love about this design is, I think it's gonna look great forever. It's that really classy style that's not gonna go in and out of fashion. Based on the architecture, this could have been built a couple hundred years ago and it will still look great in a hundred years, which I think is really cool. So we've got the driveway here. This one has the garage, as you can see, which we'll show you as we go inside. Entrance with the porch here. Let's head in. Actually, what does everyone think as well? Color of the door. It's not something you see every day. I really like it. Yeah, me too. Let's come on in. Welcome inside to the entrance. So like the other property, this is really spacious. I think especially the width here so good. So I'm going to take you firstly through the black doors into the living room and we can do some comparisons now to the first property. I feel like this one's a little bit smaller but it's all about perspective because when we came today we actually went into this property first and we were like wow this room is huge. So it's still all the size that you need. We've got the log burner here, nice piece of wood above that and the paneling around there too. Let's keep flowing through the tour. We have the staircase just here. What do you think to light fittings? Oh, these are really cool. Look at that, at the bottom it's like a sphere. <laughs> and the panelling around there too. I mean, the difference that that makes to a wall. 
and you don't have to have a mansion to do paneling like that. I think even on a smaller property when done right, it can look really cool. So here we have the powder room for this floor. Gorgeous gray tiling throughout that space too. This one has a study through here. So as you can see, this is slightly smaller than the media room we had the other side, but a really nice study space. You have three or four sets of windows actually outside and speakers throughout the ceiling. Now the flooring is known as LVT, which stands for Luxury Vinyl Tile, and it's a really luxurious finish, but it fits together quite easy, and most importantly, it's really hard wearing. It sort of looks like actual wood, and this is in mm. herringbone. By Porcelinosa, right? Yes. There you go. Okay, welcome into the open plan living area which in its form is very similar to next door. We've got a slightly different kitchen though. We had the two-tone next door. This one, they've gone for the gray throughout. And again, we've got the beautiful Miami worktops up on here too. It's a very good quality kitchen. That's what I love about HCD. I think the quality that they build is to a really high standard, which is why we always love coming back to tour their homes. They actually won an award for that just there. And then we've got the Oven here, extractor above, we've gone for the same tinted mirror backsplash, which really complements the space well. Cooker, boiling hot tap, they're becoming essential, we're seeing so many. Have you told everyone that you've had a couple lints? <laughs> I haven't actually, I thought I might keep that a secret, but John kindly said we can have some of them. Which one is your favourite lint? What was yours, Summer? Mm, the milk chocolate, for sure. Mm. Yeah, it's the OG. This side, we have the fridge. With a few more chocolates actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll save that. Freezer here. There you go. And probably not much more to see here or anything. It's not like there's an entire utility room. I love a secret door. Yeah, come on through. This is great. Pretty much a mirror to next door. Side access here, which is great because it's still bright in here. Got the Bosch washer dryer. I thought these were quite cool. Bit of a different way to keep your washing materials. Even the washing machines have the black accents on the white. Mm -hmm. Really like that. Let's show you the garage. So through the door just here, welcome in. Now, if you're OCD for like symmetry and form and things just looking great, then you'll like love all of this. That's the underfloor heating system. We've got the Worcester boiler the other side, and then we've got the electric up and over door just here as well as your electric points and all that good stuff there. Okay, continuing the tour. Back up a little step there, watch your step. Let me take you over to the lounge. Again, interior designed by Marie. All the furniture purchased specifically for the property and available to buy, so you can move straight in. We have the media wall here. that Again, has that really nice paneling design behind there. Here we are, Luxury Home Show. These are some of our popular episodes. This was a cool place in Dubai. If you haven't seen that, you can check out that video. Remember guys, click that button. Yeah, come on, John, why are you not subscribed on the TV? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have log burner here again. They've set the dining space here, a nice table for six. You can really imagine hosting your family. I feel like this is the perfect home for Christmas and that's given the fields with the lints on the side, raining out outside there. And then we've got bifold doors for the summer days. You can open this all up, enjoy your expansive views down the garden. Got willow trees over to the right, 170 feet. We'll go outside and look back at the house at the end of the tour. We will look back at it. Back through the hallway. And I want to check out upstairs because you mentioned something in the first tour, didn't you, Summer? You mentioned about how you wanted to keep the downstairs of that one mm -hmm. and the first floor of here. Is that right? I like the principal ensuite okay. of this one and then the principal bedroom in the other one too. Coming up to the first floor, so this home still has all of the same specs as the one next door with the Control 4 home automation and the Lutron lighting system. The principal suite is through that way, we're gonna show you that in a moment. I like that you've actually got all of this space up here, some more storage through there. A look down to the garden so that when you come up the stairs, that's the first thing that you see. We're gonna to go to the front of the house. We have two bedrooms to show you. First up, I would say this is bedroom four. So it's a double bedroom still with custom built-in storage over here. And then we have the bed right here and a nice view out to the front. Now to the right, we have what would perhaps be bedroom two. Really great size. You have the bed in the center, slightly bigger framed windows, 
Most importantly, the ceiling heights. As a new home, I'm a massive fan of that. And then in front of me, we have the ensuite, which has a gray tile, a shower over this side, a big shower too. Look, you can properly go in, stand under there. That's exactly what you want. And then we've got some storage here with the basin. What's cool as well is they've designed these storage cupboards so that if you do want to have a TV in them, you could potentially do that as well. Now back out onto the hallway, we've got the principal through there. I'm gonna show you that in a moment. And now we have their bedroom through this one, bedroom three. So double bedroom, good ceiling heights, wardrobes through that way. And this side is the family bathroom, or it could be an ensuite for that bedroom but it's actually quite a lot bigger, this one, because you have the shower around this side, nice indent there for the products with the LED accent lighting. Then if I close this, we actually have a bath, but they've carried the gray tiles on, and I like the fact that they've left a gap below, so you can do that LED light. No security-wise as well, you've got an alarm system up here and then another one downstairs, so if you want to turn the alarm off or check it from upstairs, or maybe set it at night, you can do so. Welcome to the principal bedroom. We'll start off in the walk-in wardrobe area. What do you think to this, Summer? Yeah, I like it. So you got- I would very much like this. Yeah, check that out. Wow. So we'll have a side each, yeah? Um, maybe like one and a half for me. One and a half? <laughs> okay, that would probably be right. And then you said that this is your favorite, didn't you? The principal yes. ensuite in this one. So let's find out why with a little bit more lighting, I think. I like the bath. I like these touch pads of the lights too. You can have different ambient levels. So come on through. This is nice, I can see why you like it. So this is the principal suite shower. Favorite part about the shower though is how the like monsoon shower head is built into the ceiling. Oh yes. I love that. Very clean. Then we have more black hardware by hand scrub. And then the bath. Very cool. So you can literally hop in there and say, Alexa, play the Luxury Home Show on YouTube. And like magic. Oh, I'm Alexa, I'll do that now for you. Luxury Home Show in the bath. Maybe somebody's watching this video right now on the bar, in the bath. Maybe. Now we have seen the bathroom, but we have the main part of the bedroom to show you. So let's come on in. I love this too. The ceiling heights, the fact that you've got three Velux windows, so a ton of natural light in. And then also we have the Juliet balcony. Should we get the full effect? Yeah, let's open it up. Check it out. Look at those views. Imagine just waking up on a nice morning as the sun is rising and you can just enjoy that down there. So it's westerly aspect, the garden. Just about to check, yeah. We've got speakers in the ceiling of this room too, but I think it's finally time to get our shoes on, head down to the bottom of the garden so we can see what the back aspect of these houses look like. I'll meet you down there. We're back outside the front because we're gonna head to the garden via the side access. So we're gonna go through this house side access here. Come on in. We do like to show all areas of the properties on the tours. So we thought you'd wanna see the side access. We've got the door to the utility in there. Another, Another security camera. Yeah, I like it. So you can chill out here on a nice sunny day. Another camera at the back. So security wise, they're really there. Cladding at the top is giving me Hampton style. It is. Really nice horizontal paneling, isn't it? So you can imagine with all of these doors open, running around with a family, straight out here onto the garden. Now we have a like for like comparison of both homes from the back. So overall summary, Summer, which was your favorite? Oh, that's such a hard decision. Um, I think this one. Yeah, the second one, the bigger one. Totally I tend to that. go for the more expensive one. <laughs> that's it. I really like the first one, to be honest. And I think with the extra money, I'd probably take the furniture so you can just move straight in. True. So you've got both options. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed these tours, I think you're going to love the home we toured with HTD a couple of years ago. It's just around the corner from here, 1.45 million. And I think you'll love the interiors. So we'll put that on screen now so you can go and watch. Now consider subscribing to the Luxury Home Show as well. Free to do so. Just click the red button below and you'll help us get into bigger and better and amazing properties all around the world and in return we'll keep leveling up these tours for you thanks for watching see you in the next video